Slowly driving around, taking my time. Okay, water, water, be careful. Oh, look at the desert. Awesome. Are we actually really close or... Yeah. Oh, balls! <laughs> Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games Cakes and welcome back to Smart Days to Die, where I play 7 Days to Die modded using Starvation Mod. In the last episode, we got our doggy. This is really amazing. And so far, the names are pouring in. I think so far, well, last time I checked, I think Coco was uh, the most preferred name that you guys voted for and named. I'm not going to name the dog this episode because I want to give you guys some time and I want to have the comments circulate a little bit. And then we're going to see and probably in the next episode or when I actually have made my mind up how I'm going to test owning this dog and controlling it. Um, I'm going to uh, make the call then on the name. Now, in this episode, we're going to go on a treasure hunt. First of all, we're going to read all the treasure maps. I was told to read them from the main base so they spawn around the base. I don't know if that's the thing, but we're going to try it out. And you know what? We're not going to wait until morning. We're going to go right out there and we're going to do it in the middle of the night. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea. Anyway, I hope you're going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Spooky, spooky, spooky. All right, let's read them. We have no tr active treasures at the moment. I just want to make sure that we don't. Because the White River citizens, that's where the trader is. And I intentionally didn't go there yet because I wanted to have the marker still on the map as well. And we want to make sure that we get the treasures beforehand. So hopefully we get enough money together. We can buy whatever we find there. Maybe a boiler. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you guys were also saying in the comments that even if I were able to make a distillery that you still need electricity to place it. So it seems that literally, like someone else mentioned in the comments as well, that electricity is what you really need before the whole thing gets started. So, um, which means I'm really glad that the guys are making changes to the mod that you can spend it uh, points on getting it. But I was warned that it's not going to be cheap. Okay, so let's hope they're all different ones. Raphael, Taylor and Weapon Workbench User Manual. Oh, that's not a treasure! Your plank? That's a workbench user manual. You can't read that. Let's put that back in there. <laughs> what? Did you use the treasure map icon for that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Read. Okay. Let's see where Taylor's treasure is. Let's have a look. Taylor, where are you? Show me on the map. Okay, so how far away you... Oh, okay. You're actually not that far away. This is really good. Like, so this is actually really close. It's just over to the east, which makes things a lot easier. And now let's see what we get for the next one. Raphael's treasure. Okay, Raphael. Oh, you are even closer. Oh, nice. But he's up in the north. So this is actually really good as well. So neither of them are in the snow biome, which should be okay then. So all we have is spiders to worry about. And, well, I don't really know, because there's a big hill here, so I think we should inspect the gate this way. It should definitely be scarier, and should definitely be more adventurous. Let's go, let's go to this one first. Let's just put the mark here, quick wave point. We're going to bring our trusty shovel and everything else with us. I probably should put the food actually in the fridge. There we go. I like the fridge. Look at this. It's keeping everything nice and healthy. Really, really nice. I love it. So let's put everything away. Let's get ready. And I'll see you guys outside in this spoopy dark. Just before we take off, I want to actually see if I can upgrade my advanced crossbow. So it seems we have to be in the workbench to take all the parts out. And we have to have all the parts take all the parts taken apart. We have to have all the parts in their individuality before we can merge them up. That's that's the thing. So let's do that here. Let's. Uh, oh, why can I not disassemble that one? Did I get back out? Oh, okay, fair enough. It must have just kicked me out. Now, we should be able to upgrade these parts together because when I tried to do them as a whole, it wouldn't let me. So, we can do this and this. That's the same. Okay, yep. Then, excuse me, this and this. And here we have these two parts and then we're gonna have the two crossbow receivers. Can we actually craft any of that? Ah, would have would have been nice. Um, okay, so let's put it back together in the workbench. I hope that works. <laughs> um, assemble. Nice. I like it. I hope that you can actually put a flashlight on it. So if you lose your helmet or whatever, you look at that. Nice. It's a 300. And what damage does it do now? 30. Why can't I drag it down? Okay. 
Oh, wow, okay, so there's a little bit of a temper going on between the things, like when you have them in the workbench in a certain way. Okay, so let's just reload, make sure we have everything ready to go. Excellent, and we have enough bullets, we have everything reloaded, beautiful, very nice, I like it. Let's see if we can repair that gun. It still causes a lot of damage with 30, um, which is very good, because you can shoot it very fast. Maybe we should take the shotgun actually with us, that would make more sense. How many bullets do we have? We only have 18, so maybe not. All right, okay, let's get ready, let's get ready. <laughs> angry zombies out here i can just hear them running past me i have to be so careful if i if i drive into a ditch or something i'm absolutely screwed oh is there anybody following me okay tree stumps no nah, okay we leave that there as an emergency as a backup actually we take that with us as a backup yeah why not also shirts i was told only the ones that are part of recipes are the ones that i really have to keep an eye on the clothing items that are part of recipes Anyway, so I don't need to hoard all the clothes, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the road where, I mean, this... Shit. <laughs> Pulse. This, this is really awkward to drive at night. Everything looks the same and everything looks like it's going to attack. But we're going to stay here right on the... A top hill, hilltop, whatever. I think we're there now. Jesus, Chini Mac, sorry about the little air bubbles. Okay, there was a spider, which is fine. I can deal with that. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh, man. This is creepy as balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rhino. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Balls. This is what I'm afraid of in the middle of the night. To get stuck on things. Oh, nice. Look at this nice empty area. That is lovely. That is so lovely. I like it. This is so wide open. But I bet you there's dangerous. Is there water? I hope there's no water, because if there's water, then... Oh, there's a crawler. That's fine. Okay, crawler is fine. I think we went past it. Yes. So... <laughs> They're running, and I'm just slowly driving around, taking my time. Okay, water, water, be careful. Oh, look at the desert. Awesome. Are we actually really close, or... Yeah. Oh, balls! <laughs> Why was that? Is that part of the treasure that you get the pussycat? Okay, I don't know what to do about the pussycat. Okay, let me just see. There's another one here. We just gotta have to run them over, to be honest. Ah, oh, nearly. Okay, this is gonna become one of those jousting duels. Come on, pussycat, where are you? Ah! Okay, I'm going to have to deal with that. I don't want to do it off camera because I don't want anybody to say, Yeah, you did it off camera. I just... <laughs> I just want to somehow manage to kill this damn thing now. And going in circles with this is really hard when you don't have a turn. Oh, shit. Shit, I actually fell off my bike. I accidentally clicked off. Okay. Okay. Yes, I think. Oh, is that the dead one? Oh! Oh, there he is. Oh, no, that's the zombies. The tiger has to be still around here somewhere. Oh, there's a snake. That snake was hit in the face. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's get the bike a little bit closer. Oh, I don't know where the pussycat went. There we go, there we go, there we go. Just for anybody who hasn't done that before with treasures, I have to be quiet because if I'm talking too loud, I can't hear what's coming. So what you do is you basically walk up until you see the blinking or the blinking starts. Like that, if you look at the middle, at the top. And then you put a block down. Then you walk all the way straight through until the blinking stops again turn around blinking starts put a block down you go into the middle of this then you do the same on either side and that way you're trying to find where the middle approximately is and near the middle you start digging down about two three blocks in a big circle and it's very close to the middle usually so let's see what we have for the balls <laughs> look at the silver nuggets <laughs> that's insane 1,500, 1,200, 600. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, 
Off to the next treasure chest. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Where's the next one, actually? Let's. I want to see what that is. I drove over that, and I have no idea what that actually is. So let's just drive over there first. Okay, this w there was just a couple of crawlers here. Nothing too dangerous. But this is like... I don't know what it is. It's like a grave. There's like a tomb thing on the top. Yeah, look at them. They all have no legs. Great. Oh, wow! Asphalt pants. That is amazing. I don't know what that is. Do we destroy it? Will it trigger something? What is that? It's a gravestone thing. Just dig under the stone. Screw it. <gasps> what is that? What was that? An empty Apache artifact chest. It's an art. Oh, wow. Amazing. And that on the map was marked as that. That is so cool. I mean, it only had 35 casino tokens in it, but I'm pretty sure it could have been something really awesome and amazing that there's a good RNG for it. We have to keep an eye for these out. All right, let's continue. We stopped really quickly off at home. Eat some fruit, have some drink and some food in general. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Any height, you can jump down just as long as you hit the bike. <laughs> okay, so let's see where we're going. Where's our marker? Our marker should be over here. Is it behind us? Wow. Am I going the right direction now? Oh, that's a pig. Oh, genie mark. I shouldn't really get off the bike that quickly without really looking around first. Okay, that is not the right direction. There! It's a... Yeah. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> Don't know what I was looking at. And there's another pig. It's a pig infestation. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful because I lost a lot. I had to use the first aid kit I have at home. Um, which I actually was collecting for first aid uh, medical special bag thing. So for the medical, for the science station, but these hills, holy balls, if you're not careful, like, they, you jump so far and then you get really hurt. Oh, balls. Okay, how are we gonna get around this now? Okay, let's... Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sh... webs. They're gonna hit me. They're gonna get me! Okay. Excellent. Oh, stone. <laughs> Tree, stone. Tree, stone. Just be careful, as long as it's not water, we should be okay. We also found a nice cave, actually, in the desert on the way back. I saw a really nice cave opening. You can drive right in with the bike. Oh, very awesome, but we're gonna have to go there at another time. This is awesome! Look at that! Riding along the river or lake or whatever, this is cool! Oh, please let it be in the water, because if it's in the water, we don't have to dig. <laughs> what is that? Is that something I built before? Oh, yes! This is where we originally were! That is awesome! That's where we met the fisherman the first time! Oh, man, I have no sense of direction at all whatsoever. Oh, this is awesome! So, let I think we're very close. We must be very close. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's drive to the top and turn the bike around. Okay, we're gonna have a runner. Come on. Anybody else? No? <gasps> Ooh, nice! Oh, bird's nest. Very good, I like it. I, I placed my bed this time. I was home, I placed my bed. Now let me triangulate this little beauty here. Alright, so let's start digging around a little bit. Here we go. Ha <laughs> beautiful. Very nice, I like it. I saw a hole, I just wasn't sure if it was already that close. When I started digging, I put the first spade down here. And it was a bit of a dark spot. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's already the hole. There we go, nice. Let's open it. 3,631 and 191 rounds. Very cool. And that's 450 as well. But we're gonna keep the rounds instead. So that was the treasure maps. We have a little bit of money now. I'm gonna go home and I'm going to... Um get some of the stuff we have that is actually worth a lot of money and bring it with me and see if we can sell it. Oh yeah, don't forget the bike. <laughs> yeah, you came here with a bike, you're gonna have to leave again with a bike. We're ready to go, but we got a couple of visitors down here. Let's take care of them. Very lovely. I took a couple of things with me that I want to uh, bring with me to the trader. There we go, come on, you're nearly dead. Nice. Do you have anything interesting on you? Oh, 
look at that. Oh, crap, crap, crap. There we go. Ah, yeah, we'll take your water. I took an engine and a battery as well with me, just in case. There we go. Nice. Another... Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. I just love it. Oh, man. Uh, also, I never really mentioned in the beginning. I apologize. I'm not totally with it. I'm extremely tired. I did a really bad thing last night. I started... Um, I, I, I started basically a couple of days ago. I started um, Star Trek Next Generation again to rewatch it because I can't... I couldn't find anything interesting on Netflix. And um, I did the whole just one more episode last night. Where literally that's what I was doing. I spent um, very long in the evening um, going just one more episode. And I, oh yeah, okay, let's let's watch the beginning of that and let's just do one more. <laughs> and anyway, I went to bed like at about half three, so that was really really bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna clean these guys up and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do with the trader because we're probably gonna have to park the bike on the other side of the river and then walk across the island which is gonna be dangerous because if there's gonna be any pussycats there we're going to get murderized probably but hey you know we'll see all right we have a choice to make i said an alligator up there oh you must be taking the mickey okay we're going to take the bike you're gonna take it apart i'm gonna put it in our inventory Oh, we have so much crap in there, though. Let's just go. End of story. Let's go. Who cares? Okay, so let's take care of this guy. Come on. Come on, come out of the water. Come out of the water. There we go. Luckily, he stops every time you hit him in the foreface. Oh shit! I thought he was dead! Wow! That was tough! And loads of tree stumps as well. Which is good. Come on! Okay. Let's get the guy's hide. That's really important. Oh balls, oh balls, oh balls. Yes, we got three. Nice! Cut your eyeballs out of the back of your foreface! Come on! Oh, nice. Do we get a penny for that? Yeah, baby! Love it! Look at that free money! Okay, let's go through here as well, because these stumps sometimes have some real valuable crap in them. Like, hello! Okay, this is not really fetching us a pretty penny, but it's not part of a recipe, so it's okay. This, on the other hand, we can use to sell oh night vision they, they must be selling for something oh, awesome okay let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go there's actually a little hood here right close by which is good so we can stay on the path i think this is the trader's hood over there so worst case scenario what is that what the hell is that <gasps> It's another tank, and what a beauty it is! And look, the snow is gone! This is amazing. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this! Oh, nice! What do we have? What do we have? <gasps> a, a, a Browning MG receiver. I think we already have the receiver. And it's only 336, so we don't we don't have to sell it. But um, let's go quick, 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 quick. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, Genie Mac. Okay, we, we can we can go and loot all these tree stumps and then come back and sell for more. That's definitely what we're gonna do. But let's try to find the front entrance. Oh, look at that! Nice! Oh. Genie Mac, there's just so much around here. Oh, this is amazing! I've never been in one of those! I've been in a trading post before, just not in that exact type. Wow! That is amazing. So let's go in, make some room. We have to sell some stuff and see what he has. Please have something useful. Oh, hey, man. It's freezing outside. Does this look like a lounge to you? Um, you kind of, yeah, kind I of does. I want to purchase something. <laughs> no, but can I repair this? 
can I, if I repair items, it's better. I get more money for them, but I can't repair it. Recipe is excellent. I have one at home, which is fine. So, um, no public bathrooms here. Yeah. These ones here, on I'm floor. going to sell as well. And apparently, it's better to sell them all individually. So, we're going to do that. But first, we're going to sell all these guns, which I already emptied. Nice. Okay. We make some room. Okay, let's let's sell all the individual bullets first. Okay, so far we had five thousand. So let's sell it individually. Ah, oh! <laughs> this is so tough. It's like you put the finger above the mouse and goes. Brrrr! Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm getting tired now. <sighs> oh, okay, let's do it. There we go. Look at that. The levels are going up and everything. And the money is going up. We're now selling them at five pepes instead of two pepes where we started. There we go. Ah, yes, we're nearly through. And then we have to do it only with another 500. <laughs> There's not really much, guys. The guy has to offer. Now, I did put up my secret stash perk up by three. I spent 30 points on that just now. I'm left with about 20, which is a pain in the ass. But... I don't think the guy has actually anything of interest, to be honest. Um, the only things I bought, I bought uh, the electrical components just to level up the bartering. Um, I bought the, the book, the brewing book and hop seeds, because I don't know if in, the, in this mod you can get hop seeds uh, by finding them. But uh, that's why I bought them. And then in the secret stash, you can just see this here, and that's pretty much it. So, all in all, not that amazing. I'm buying the auger though, because once we have the auger plate, we can actually increase the quality of that ourselves. Because all we need really is the auger plate and these parts, and the rest we can get up then to 500, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's buy that. Okay, excellent. That's me done. We have 17,000 left. Do the math. That's it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. Oh, and I will see you guys next time. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, apologies for being a little bit less energetic tonight, but need to get some sleep now. <laughs> anyway, until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming. Okay, just getting a drink here. And just as I got a drink, I looked at this and there is a door which is unlocked. What the hell is that about? Okay. <laughs> this trader has an underground to it. That is amazing. It's all, it's all protected, of course. Wow. <gasps> what the hell? Okay. Freebies. I don't. I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, we're robbing your man blind underground. Oh no way! An anvil. Nice! That's another 133 gold coins! We can we can go straight up and say, yeah, I found this! No, not on your premise. Not at all, no. Oh, okay. Where is that? Oh, no! Oh, why can we not get in there? Look, there he is. There's the traitor. Drop your weapons or drop your drawers. <laughs> we can sell this through. I'm just underneath here selling the things I just stole from you. <laughs>